All right, man, so look, we back at it again with another crazy video. Now, before we get to the video, I need y'all to do me a big, big favor. Go down below in the comment section, answer the poll question of the day. So today's poll question is, how are y'all feeling today? Me, personally, I'm feeling good. I'm fresh off the flight. I'm fresh off my vacation, my little four or five day vacation, however long I went. I don't even know no more, you feel me? I was just having fun, you feel me? But y'all let me know how y'all feeling today. Uh, without further ado, hit the like button, subscribe to my post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG without for the ado, let's get right into the video. I'm walking out of here, bro. Are y'all making a deal? At Philadelphia. What the hello? Get your big Greek. I'm walking out of here, bro. They lucky I wasn't there, boy. You telling me you in my store right now. All this chaotic stuff going on. I'm an employee working here. All this chaotic stuff. You got people throwing stuff. You got people filming. You got people breaking stuff. You got people just doing a whole bunch of nonsense. And you got the nerve to ask me if we still making sandwiches. Man, I would have threw the salami cheese all in your face and told you to make your own sandwich. You want to you? Uh, why not? Why not go ahead and steal? I mean, everybody else stealing and doing everything they doing. Like, why? Why not go ahead? Come on, just just make your own sandwich. I mean, <laughs> all you thinking about is food. All this chaos going on in the back, and all you thinking about is food. Man, I tell you about people, boy. Now, Philadelphia police say no one got hurt in this incident, but there is still a lot of damage inside the store, thousands of dollars worth, and you can see some of the damage still when you go inside tonight. There's a shelf that's broken. It was really, really bad, like really bad. Tens of thousands of people have watched and reposted this video on all social media platforms. Showing what Philadelphia police say is a mob of about 100 people ransacking the Wawa store at Tyson Avenue and Roosevelt Boulevard in Mayfair. Just, my, my whole thing is just why? Why? I mean, if you go back, we can go back, okay? Number one, this is nothing but straight black people. I'm going to be real. Nothing but straight black people. And the reason I'm bringing race into it, because if it was a white person, they would have brought race into it. Come on, be real with me. If it was like the whole news, uh, the white man, the white man, they would have brought race into it. But it's black people. They want to say all oh, these young people, this and that, like a whole bunch of over 100 people, whatever she said. Man, they just saying stuff. But my whole thing is, go ahead. Y'all Y'all want to bring race into it? We bring race into it. Y'all bring race into it if it was the white people. So bring race into it now that it's a whole bunch of black people. This is nothing but straight black people. Look, look, look at this. Black, 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 black. I can't. Nope, that's black. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'ma just assume this person in a white hoodie black. black. Black, 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 I mean, seriously, a whole bunch of black people doing nonsense and y'all wonder why they look at us the way they do. Y'all wonder why people think they were thugs and think they were this and think they were that because y'all do things like this. This is the stuff that y'all do. This is literally the stuff that y'all do, but y'all always want to point the fingers at the white man. The white man stole this from us. The white this, the white that. We the original creators. The white baby, the white baby. It's always the white people. It's always the white people this and the white people that. What about y'all? What about y'all own people and y'all own community? Look at everything that y'all doing, bro. This is a whole bunch of nonsense. Whole bunch of nonsense. Y'all over here looting the Wawa. What was Wawa? Y'all over here losing the Wawa store for what? For what? Seriously, for what, bro? Then you got this you got this person asking for sandwiches. It's just a whole bunch of everything going on in this video. Whole bunch of everything. Seriously, everything starts in the household with the parents. Parents, y'all need to take control of y'all kids. Y'all let y'all kids just go out and wander the streets. I mean, y'all don't have no 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 tracking device, no nothing. Just a no their location. Y'all don't see where they yet. Y'all don't care about y'all kids. Y'all just let them go out in the streets. I see why my mama didn't let me go out. She let me go out with certain people, and if she didn't know the person, she always need that person uh, mama number, or she need to meet that mama. My mom was so strict on me, and I never knew why, because everybody else's parents let them wonder. Oh, yeah, you going to Bob house? Never heard Bob in a day of her life. But, oh, you going to Bob house? Go ahead, have fun, son. Have fun, daughter. But not knowing that she he going to Bob house to do something illegal like this. Black people, y'all need to seriously get y'all minds right. Get y'all minds ordered. That's why it's not that many successful black people because y'all do stuff like this. Y'all looting and doing things like this, thinking it's funny, thinking it's cool. This ain't going to get y'all nowhere in life. This is serious. not going to get y'all nowhere. 
And y'all, one, one thing y'all need to stop doing is pointing the fingers at white people too. Because if it was a white person that did this, boy, everybody would have been going crazy. It's racist. It's white supremacist. It's this, it's that, it's this, it's that. Everybody would have been going ballistics if it was a white person doing this. Or if it was a whole bunch of white people doing this. But you don't see a whole bunch of, you don't see a whole group of white people going into stores and just looting and doing this and that. No, you don't see that. You don't see Arabs doing it. You don't see Mexicans doing this. You don't see nobody doing this. You see black people. Black people doing this. But then they say the white, they say it, white people, um, they say that in America, we can't get a job because we're black. We can't do this because we're black. <laughs> if that's true, I won't blame them for not giving y'all a job. I'd be scared you might rob the place. Because this is, this is what happens in a black community. This is seriously what happens. This is what happens. Y'all never, y'all never hold yourself accountable. Y'all never hold yourself, uh, hold yourself responsible for y'all own actions. Y'all put y'all responsibilities on somebody else, and that somebody else is either white people or any other race. Y'all put y'all responsibility. It's always white this and white. It's always. Look at the stuff that y'all doing, bro. This is ridiculous. This is yeah, throwing stuff. You got this man filming like it's all fun and games. Now, Philadelphia police say no one got hurt in this incident, but there is still a lot of damage inside the store, thousands of dollars worth. And you can see some of the damage still when you go inside tonight. There's a shelf that's broken. It was really, really bad. Like, And their parents ain't going to pay for it. Their parents ain't going to pay for it. Their parents ain't going to pay for it. Their parents don't care. If they just allow their kids to just wander the streets and do this and do that, they don't, they, their parents don't care. It all starts in the household, bro. Y'all need to take control of y'all kids, man. Really bad. Tens of thousands of people have watched and reposted this video on all social media platforms. Showing what Philadelphia police say is a mob of about 100 people ransacking the- No, 100 black people. Because if it was white people, you would have said 100 white people. No, it's 100 black people doing this. 100 black people. Let it be known. Let it be known. Wawa store at Tyson Avenue and Roosevelt Boulevard in Mayfair yesterday. Hey, you do that. This is the first time Billy Bash has watched these videos. He was standing outside when it all happened around 8.30 Saturday night. They wrecked the whole store. He and other customers say most of the people they saw looked young, but old enough to know better. Come on, man. This is, this is where... You this is where you get your food at. How is the city going to get any better if we're going to keep destroying it? A lot of these stores are privately owned. They're not They're not even chains. And they're not really insured. The insurance companies right now are, are so booked with paying out everything they've already paid out that they can't even get to, to pay these guys. So they're losing out of their own pockets. And that's food from the family's mouth. Now, as for who did this, police have not arrested anyone. But they say all of the suspects, 100 some. Really ensure the insurance companies right now are, are so. I mean, just look at this, bro. Just look, this is this is just stupidity, dog. This is seriously stupidity. And it's sad to say that this is my old people doing this, man. It's stupidity, stupidity. In the black households, they don't teach. They don't teach how to how to freaking be respectful. Apparently, they don't teach not to go around in stores and loot and steal and kill. They don't teach none of this. Cause in the black community, what they do, steal, kill, steal, kill, and destroy. They're like the devil, bro. Cause that's what the devil do, steal, kill, and destroy. What you see in the black community? Let me know. Steal, kill, and destroy. That's exactly. I mean, bro, this is this is honestly ridiculous. And then when it's another black person speaking on stuff like this, they say all type of names. I got people calling me the white this and the white man this. And I'm just I'm just the pets for the white people. I'm just a slaves. I I get called all type of names, but it's not that. It's just because I have common sense. I have common sense to know what's real and what's not. I'm not going to sit here and take up for my for my race, take up for black people when they're doing things like this. How can I honestly take up for this? How can I say, oh, well, this is this is because the white man always stole from us. So why can't we steal from the, the white man too? Why can't we do this from the white man? Why can, why would I sit there and say those type of things? These young these young people, these young black people, black people in period, they think they're entitled to doing stuff. They think they they think they can do things like this. They think they because you know why? Because they they feel like they feel like oh if the if the white people if the white people can do this to us, we can do this back to them. That's what they think.
That's exactly what they think. They think they're entitled to do things. Like they think they have power. They have power. They all want to scream white privilege and this and white supremacy. No, it's black privilege. You black people are privileged. Privileged. Seriously. Seriously. Privilege. You can't tell me y'all not. You get to just walk into stores and just steal. You get to walk into stores and loot and do everything you want to do. Both with paying out everything they've already paid out, they can't even get to, to pay these guys, so they're losing out of their own pockets, and that's food from the family's mouth. Now, as for who did this, police have not arrested anyone, but they say all of the... Arrest the girl in the front that was asking for a sandwich. Arrest her. She, I think she, she just made me more mad asking for a sandwich when you see all this chaos going on. How dare you ask for a sandwich? I understand you hungry, but you all you thinking about is food right now? When a whole bunch of young black teens just came in destroying stuff, and all you want to think about is food. <laughs> Suspects, 100-something people who went inside here, they're all under the age of 18. That's the latest from Mayfair. Leah Uko, NBC10 News. Oh, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation. Me, personally, like I said, this is, this is honestly ridiculous because... If it was if it was white people doing this, oh my gosh, everybody would have went crazy. Everybody racist this and it would have been this and it would have been that. It would have been so much chaos when white people do things. White people do stuff, it's always something. There's always some chaos. There's always racism behind it. Black people do it. Black people can't be racist. Black people can't be racist. Reverse racism doesn't exist. Black people, they, they're not racist. They can't be racist. Black people always think they're entitled to something. They always think they're entitled, but they're not. They're not. <sighs> this is honestly ridiculous. And I feel, you know, my condolences. I, I'm saying my condolences because my condolences go out to the Wawa, Wawa, Wawa the, the store. The reason I say that is because I don't know if this is a privately owned company. Oh, I don't know if this is just a company that's nation. I don't know. I said, we don't have no Wawa in Chicago. We don't, none that I know of. So this is a privately owned company. My bad that I, my bad that these people came into your store or y'all store and did dumb stuff like did just stupid stuff for no reason. Just wanted to do something. Just wanted to do something. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation in the comment section below. This is seriously ridiculous. Uh black people, y'all y'all need to get y'all, y'all need to get yourselves together, bro. Y'all seriously need to get yourselves together. Y'all y'all seriously. Ser like dead serious. Get yourself together. Stop doing dumb stuff. Stop going out there. Just, just stop. And the parents, seriously, I mean, where's the fathers? Parents, get 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 y'all households together. Get y'all households together. I'm not the one to say what to do in your household, but apparently your kids going out like this and what kids don't realize that they're a representation of their parents. Anytime you go outside, you are a representation of your parent. No matter how old, young, middle-aged, no matter what you are, you are always going to be a representation of your parents. Because the way your parents raise you is how you're going to grow up and go into the real world acting. If your parents raise you to become a lazy bum, you're going to become a lazy bum. If your parents raise you to be respectful, you're going to be going outside being respectful to whatever elder. No matter who it is, you're going to always be respectful. But no, in a black household, they don't even teach half of this stuff. They don't. They don't because if they did, their kids won't be going outside wilding, wilding out. Wild in, wild in. They won't be doing all that. Y'all, y'all need to get y'all households together for real. For, for, oof, I'm not gonna say that, but y'all let me know what y'all think about the video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to our post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? I love y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.